second graders and welcome to skills block day 43 interactive writing our learning targets for the day I can use possession for nouns and pronouns with an apostrophe I can write a sentence using words spelled with CLE and CAL endings possessives and high frequency words can you build a word from scratch, a word from scratch, a word from scratch? Can you build a word from scratch using many parts? Your turn. Yes, we'll build a brand new word, a brand new word, a brand new word. Yes, we'll build a brand new word by using many parts. Great singing. We have base words, one apostrophe S and one S apostrophe displayed here. Look closely at the words and think about what kind of words they are. The words that we have are nouns. Some of them are plural nouns and some of them are singular nouns. These words are all, are all nouns. Parents, students, dinner, classroom, streets, house, Frank, and New York. Let's look at if we made parents dinner. If we look at the two words together, parents, dinner, it's looking like we have a dinner that belongs to our parents. When we add an apostrophe and an S to a plural noun ending in S, it means that something belongs to those people or things. And when we add the S apostrophe to a plural noun, it's called a possessive because possess means to have something. When something is plural, like parents, and already has an S at the end, it's not necessary to add another S. So let's learn more about how to make possessives. If I have Frank and pen, but I want it to be a possessive where Frank owns the pen, I'm going to add an apostrophe S. I add an apostrophe S so that it shows that it's Frank's pen and it belongs to him. I add the apostrophe S and not the S apostrophe like I did in parents dinner because Frank ends in a K, not in an S. So let's keep looking at this, some things on how we can change a word to show the possessive. If I say New York streets were full of people, if I want to show that the streets belong to New York, what might I add to make it a possessive? That's great. We would add the apostrophe S so that the sentence now reads, New York's streets were full of people. Wonderful job. Adding the apostrophe S made New York the possessive of streets. Let's try another one. The student's pencils were sharp. If I want to add something to the word students to make it a possessive of pencils to show that they own the pencils, what would I do? Great job. It already ends in an S, so I'm going to leave the S there and add an apostrophe after the S. Remember, when our word ends in S, we don't want to add an additional S. We leave the S there and add an apostrophe. Now it reads, the student's pencils were sharp. Again, the apostrophe is now making it so that the pencils belong to students and students are our possessive. Let's try one more. The classroom light was left on. If I want to make classroom into a possessive to show it owns the light, what might I do? Great job. I'm going to add an apostrophe S because our word classroom ends in an M and the apostrophe S changes it to the classroom's light was left on. Now that light belongs to the classroom. Let's do one final one. The house front porch is beautiful. If I want to change house into a possessive so that it owns the front porch, what might I do? Great job. 
we're going to add the apostrophe s again to turn turn house into our possessive and now it says the house's front porch is beautiful great job working with possessives do you know the words will write the words will write the words will write do you know the words will write on our boards today yes we know the words will write the words will write the words will write yes we know the words will write will write on our boards today great job uh, singing along with me Today we'll use the words that we know to make a silly sentence. And we will use the words that are spelled with C-A-L and C-L-E at the end. Let's think of some of the words we've been going over. Great job. We have our first one of medical. And remember, when we see words that have the base word ending in I-C, like in this one, it would be medic we know that we're going to add the al to make the ending c-a-l great job let's think of some more words that have a c-a-l or c-l-e ending our next word tricycle make sure that you're writing these words down also so that you practice saying and spelling our words correctly comical Circle, musical, icicle, critical, miracle, tropical, bicycle, uncle, logical, and practical. Great job. Those are a whole bunch of words ending in our cull sound spelled with either C-A-L or C-L-E. I'm so glad that you took the time to practice saying and spelling these words at home as well. A silly sentence makes us laugh because we use words that don't usually go together and it gives us a funny picture in our head or it just sounds really silly. Let's look at my silly sentence. The medical doctor's nose was painted red as she rode circles on a tricycle to cheer up her patients. So notice I have a whole bunch of words with the cull ending sound spelled in either C-A-L or C-L-E. First I have medical, then I have circle, and then I have tricycle. Notice that I also have a possessive in there. Doctors is our possessive with an apostrophe S because the nose belongs to the doctor. So that word is a possessive. Now it's your turn to write a handful of silly sentences. Try to use as many of our C-A-L and C-L-E words and also try to add in some possessive words with an S apostrophe or an apostrophe S. Once you've written a handful of silly sentences, read them out loud to someone at home. Let's reflect on our learning. What does it mean to be independent? What does it mean to be an independent reader? What knowledge and skills do you have now that you did not have earlier in the year? And how did you acquire that knowledge or skill? Great job today, second graders. See you again tomorrow.